Where are you from? I am from New York. New York? Yes. Can you tell me why you're here? I am here because I believe I have a TMJ. It hurts mostly at night or when I chew. Yeah. Like eating. I can't chew gum a lot. Yeah. And it feels like my whole jar muscles just tired. Won't relax, yes. Always tired. Like it doesn't have a home. Yeah. And you found us how? Uh, online. Online. Um, Watching your YouTube videos, doing research on your page. Yeah. Reading. PubMed, Google Scholar, things like that. Yes. Yeah. Looked up disclusion time. Uh huh. Yeah. Good man. Headache <laughs> is like the worst thing for me. I, I get headaches all the time. Can you point to where they happen? Uh, like right here. In the temples. Mm -hmm. And it gets very bad. Yeah. Almost every day. Sometimes yeah. like I get like very pain from my like jaws. Yeah. And when I rest, I can't rest. I feel like I didn't rest, and I'll wake up with a headache. So I have to take like over the counter medicine. Do you have a headache right now? Um, a little bit. A little bit. Mm -hmm. I can feel it. Did so, you ever wear braces? No. Would you feel the headaches are getting worse now than they've ever been? Is it kind of ramping up or not? Um, they're the same, but I think they come more frequently. Right, gotcha. Like maybe once in a while, like every week, one time. Now it's like three, four times when the headache happens. Yeah. I feel like I can't move. Like I have to really walk very slow. Like if, if I walk hard or you know, yeah. uh, get an impact, it just throbbles more. So I feel like when the headache comes, I'm like 50% disabled. Seriously? Seriously. Okay. The light. So sometimes I have to take like extra average, like instead of a dose, I would take like two doses. Yeah. Usually Motrin work for me. Does it knock it out? It does. Like I would have to take like a double dose one time. Does uh, sleep help with that? Uh, it's, uh, not better than, um, not better than medicine because I have trouble sleeping and resting because I feel like my jaw is always not resting. Yeah, see that's interesting because the Motrin's and all that, those are like anti-inflammatories. Yeah. So are we decreasing inflammation in the muscle or in the vasculature? Because they say a lot of like migraine type headaches or due to vascular issues. Well, Pro, you know? when, I take, when I take Tylenol, for example, it doesn't do nothing to me. Yeah, but the, but the Advil does. Advil, and that's why I feel like it has something to do with my jaw. It does something, it relaxes the muscle or something. Right. You ever take Plexeril or anything like that, a muscle relaxant? Did uh, anybody ever give you that? No. I do feel tired all the time, especially my shoulders, my neck. Yeah. Is it stiff? Can you move it around? Or? Uh, I can, but it just feels like it's, it doesn't move the way you're supposed to. Yeah. It doesn't go the way like a normal person that doesn't have a TMJ. Sure. Like maybe turn it to the side or like going down. Or, yeah, like, it's it just, stiff. Yeah. Did you ever get any kind of like accident, like a car wreck or an athletic, uh, someone smacked you in the jaw or anything uh, like that? No, not that at all. Not that you can recall. is I went there and all of a sudden I see these little potholed areas where you're trying to grind it in on your own. That's why the muscle's been, you know, you're like wearing into the enamel. 
Okay. So I'm trying to do it very precisely. You can't do it precisely because the whole jaw is connected, you know? So if you try to hit one spot, you're wearing out other stuff. So if I try to catch your bite up to your joint, which is we know messed up, you know, both of them a little bit, but this one in particular, remember the left side yesterday yeah. when we did the screening? Mm -hmm. um, if I can all of a sudden affect that change to where muscles can start chilling out without taking too much away, okay. this should help. The muscles shouldn't be so like, ramped up. Okay. And if we're lucky, because the muscles aren't ramping up, <clears throat> too much muscle theoretically can rip the cartilage even further down. So it like tear it even more, which is not what you want. You want it to stay where it's at, where it's at. You want it to be stable and adaptive. Right? So and we, you appear to be stable and adapted. You're not messed up in the bone yet. We know your cartilage is a little messed up, but we think your bone looks okay based on the 3D imaging. Okay. That makes sense? Yes. Right home really hard. Right and over. The paper, I get all these blue marks because it's blue paper, right? But 88% of them are wrong and false. Okay? So I cross reference. 100%, 12 of which is accurate, with the 95% accurate this, and I only hit the one with this one points. Okay. That makes sense? That makes sense. What's it feel like right now? It feels good. I feel like it's, it's relaxing, it's not jumping no more. Yeah. Compared to when you walked in to now? When I walked in, I felt like this was just like hanging in my jaw. Yeah. And right here at the front. Yeah. I can't really even feel like this. Yeah. I feel relaxed. Relaxed? That famous word? That's the seven letter word that they, everyone says. I don't I mean, think I've ever seen someone not say that. <laughs> it's just, it just feels when you, when, well before when I come, I feel like it was just Tight. Hang it tight and then I keep yeah. clinching, I keep letting it go and bringing it back up and nothing works. When you walked in, you told me you had a little headache going on. Yeah. What's now, it like? Yeah, I, don't, I feel clear. No headache? Like that. It was pressure. It wasn't like really, you know how before the headache comes, yeah. kind of like a pressure. Tense. Now it's, it's, it's normal. Feels good. How's your bite feel? It feels. A little weird. A little weird because I never felt my um, canines touch. Mm -hmm. I feel like they, because they, they touch it, I don't feel like the, the back teeth is touching. Yeah, but they are. We confirmed that digitally. So um, move your neck around. Ooh, it just popped. A good pop? Yeah. <laughs> it kind of leaned forward. Is that different? Uh, it just popped again. It's like, you know why it popped? Because I don't think it went that far. Oh, before. it's not used to it. Yeah. It's releasing. Yeah. It is. Do you feel sleepy? I feel like I'm drunk. That's how, <laughs> you how feel relaxed drunk? I am. <laughs> yeah. I've had people fall asleep on me. <laughs> yeah, like I feel my shoulders a little bit, like they relaxed. Yeah? So that that's different from an hour ago. Yes. It just, and last week and last year, right? It was getting worse and worse, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes I have no one what's going on you just no it freaks you out yeah and then sometimes when you know and you know exactly what's bothering you and when I knew like this muscles was I felt like the pain got worse and I kept clenching more and yeah it was I don't clen I don't think I clench at night but it's just when I'm thinking or if things slow or if I'm mad it's like I'm always but Doing I start this. but I start like grinding too yeah did you ever notice sticking your tongue between your front teeth no, yeah, but, yeah. No, I, but it just after when I did the screening you gave me on um, on the email. Yeah. I did it and it felt relief, like yeah. a, kind of relief. Yeah, that's kind of a key. Yeah. That's the brain throwing the tongue that's three muscles between the front teeth to separate the back. When the back teeth are separated in time, and that's just per it's temporary when you stick your tongue, but yeah. that's a clue. Sometimes people will be, yeah, but I'm always in my pictures. I'm smiling and I got my tongue between my teeth. It's like I never even thought much of it, but yeah, it looked pretty stupid. I never figure out why I do it all the time. I hear that probably half the time. You feel like smiling now? Yes. <laughs> Are you glad you had it done? Yes, I'm so glad. And I recommend people should just come and, like I have two friends of mine. And, yeah. Um, I'm in the process of bringing them here. 
and I think people just come and you know give it a try and see if you could help them or not. Yeah, as long as their joints are relatively stable and adapted, they're not necessarily perfectly healthy. I but just don't. I don't think anybody thing. knows because you don't know until you get screened. And then that's I don't the whole think point of neuroclusion. Really, yeah. you know, like when I came here and you showed me what you showed me, I don't think people you go to the hospital they would just like blow you away and tell you, listen, and just take some pain medicine or something. Yeah, or muscle relaxers. Yeah. So they're gonna give you. I don't think they they, they get into a deep like this. They don't. Yeah. Through the bite, we can control the muscle. And that's something that almost nobody believes. And, you know, that's why we have people I sitting here watching us today. Oh, yeah. That's why I keep posting the videos. Because it's like, how many times do you have to see it? To, I'm trying to put a little, you know, a little jab in my profession. Because they ignore this. And I think people that really, like, some people probably don't understand. Like, most of my friends, I talk to them about this. Oh, most dentists don't understand. The bottom line is... If it's related to your bite, and if the joints are relatively stable, being the cartilage and the bone, if they're not changing much, through the bite, we can usually correct it. As long as your front teeth are not separating, like you can't bite your nails, that's called an anterior open bite. Usually anterior open bites, and most oral surgeons and orthodontists don't get this, is because the back joint is damaged. And when it's damaged, you pull out that cartilage that's between the skull bone and the lower jaw bone, it's up right in front of your ear, and all of a sudden, the whole jaw just kind of shimmies up, and your front teeth wow. separate. Yeah, and then they they'll pull them down with braces, they'll do surgeries, and all of a sudden, a year later, it's still an open bite. And they're like, "What the heck?" You know? Oh, by the way, can you open bigger? I feel like it's open big. Like yeah. Bigger than normal. Yeah. Well, that's normal. You were abnormal before. You feel tired? That's a good thing. That's a good sign. Like you need a nap, right? <laughs> See, I've had people literally pass out on me. You're not going to do that, are you? That's what I feel like. <laughs> I feel a little tingle on the left side. That's a good sign, too. Yeah. When you, you work out really hard, that tingle you get? Okay. And uh, the, the bite, and I was like, eating is different. Mm -hmm. Lynching power no more. Yeah. Because my canine is it's like grabbing, I mean, holding the other canines so they won't touch. Yeah. Them. Neurologically, you can't produce as much um, force. muscle force when front teeth are in control of the situation. When back teeth are, you can push more. And that's not a good thing because you don't need to push really hard. Okay. That's what breaks teeth. Muscle breaks teeth. So, why would you want to let your vehicle get 40 miles the gallon instead of 20? If it was possible, if there was a way to reshuffle it, and the mechanics were such that, hey, if I don't have to push as hard and I go just as far and I get twice the amount of, like, you know, Speed. yeah, why would I? Why would I want to? You don't need to. Everything you're telling me so far, I'm happy to hear. Anything else? Um, no. Just wanted to make sure it's before I leave. Maybe oh yeah. Look at you falling asleep. I feel like I could go to sleep. <laughs> were those good drugs or what? Yeah. Uh, but there were no drugs. I know. <laughs> well, what did you have for lunch? Yeah, yeah, I know. What did you have for lunch? Just strawberry and a salad. Oh, okay. So nothing illicit. <laughs> I think you're out of here, no, man. No, it's just when I was leaving, I started yawning. And, and it's getting pretty. <laughs> You're falling asleep on me right now. Get him out of here so he can get make it back to his hotel before he crashes. He needs to get to that bed quick. We're gonna have to throw you out. <laughs>